Hi, welcome to the Demeria Kitchen. And tonight we are making um, strawberry yogurt bars. <laughs> and it's very simple. We're also using cereal for the bottom that's gluten free. Now, let me show you what I've got Ezekiel 49 grain cereal. And I have it mixed right here. There's one cup of this. Okay, and I'm going to pour this in a bowl. And then I'm actually going to add a little organic unsweetened coconut. Not too much because people sometimes don't like coconut and we don't want to add too much. And then I'm going to add about, oh, a tablespoon and a half of melted butter. So you're going to see how that goes together really nicely. I'm going to blend this in a pan or in a baking bowl. And what I did, and you're going to notice in a second, is I lined my cooking dish, my baking bowl, with some wax paper. And that's because we're going to freeze this. And this way it can lift up and it's going to be very easily cut. It's not going to stick to the sides. I don't have to use any oil or anything. So I'm going to put this mixture of the cereal, coconut, and butter together. And I'm looking at this right now, and just because I know some things that, you know, you've been around for a period of time, I can tell you if you wanted to, and this is only if you wanted to, you could probably add a little bit more melted butter to this mixture so that it would hold together. Not that it's not going to hold together now, but you might just want to have it that you, this could probably be a little flakier when you cut it instead of maybe held together real nice. It's still going to work out fine. I just want you to see what I have already is I have two cups of cut up strawberries. In this recipe you could use all strawberries, all raspberries, or a mixture of both. And today we use strawberries. We actually got them from Whole Foods and they were very good price so that, that's why we picked the strawberries. They didn't have any raspberries. I want you to also know that I put a third of a cup of brown rice syrup, the light brown rice syrup, organic, into this mixture already because it got a little sticky all over the counter and I thought that I would just um, take care of that. And then I'm going to add, this is plain goat milk yogurt. Now why I'm using goat milk is because we don't use dairy in our house and goat milk is a very close to natural human milk or the mother's milk and this is a yogurt that you'll find in the grocery store in the dairy case most health food stores so some grocery stores most health food stores and it has I think there's mango blueberry strawberry and this happens to be plain which you don't want to flavor in this because the strawberries are going to bring enough flavor out to this mixture, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, and if you'll notice, it's alcohol free. We try to get that, and you have to usually get that in the health food store, and it's Frontier brand. And actually, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more vanilla. Vanilla always adds such a nice um, sweet flavor, vanilla flavor. So if you notice this, it's um, I'm going to fold it now a little bit, but actually in a minute I'm going to mix it. Now if you have a blender, you could use a blender, but I choose to do it with a mixer, hand mixer, and we're just going to hand mix this until the uh, strawberries get blended into that yogurt really nice. Now you could see we're going to mold that, and if you wanted to do a pie, you could probably do the pie just like that. But what I want to do is I want the strawberries to break up just a little bit. So I'm going to blend it, and I have it now at beat. I'm going to turn it to whip. This is a really nice summer day, or spring day. Actually, it could be any day dessert. The blender does work really nice to making these squares a lot more um, color consistency, but believe it or not, I gave one of my sons my blender. So we're using the mixer today. And 
so you'll see that there's still going to be chunks of strawberries, which is fine. Okay, if you use your blender, you're going to notice that the strawberries are going to be probably just all mixed in, and you're not going to be able to tell them from the yogurt. Okay, so we're going to pour this in now on top of that um, Ezekiel almond coconut mixture and we're just going to put that nice measured so then it is going to go in the freezer now and you're going to want to freeze it for at least four hours then when you cut cut it I would suggest you at least go loosen it up after four hours and make sure it's okay we're happening to make this the night before we want to use it so um, it's I'm going to cover it here with foil or um, parchment paper or something that I have over in the cupboard. We're going to put it away into the freezer. I'm going to check it in four hours. I might cut it into squares and I'll serve it tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really nice, soft, smooth dessert.